G'day guys, M Tintam here. Today we're going to go through Atmosphere. How your OBJ environment is going to look like. So, now, what do I mean by environment and atmosphere? Um, there are several ways you can present your atmosphere. It can either be a HDRI, it can be an RGB spectrum based world, or it can be a sun sky preset. There is also um, mesh mesh based lighting, but I'll go through that in a different tutorial um, with the whole entire subject in general on mesh based lighting. So let's add the OBJ that will be in the tutorial. So now to change the environment, excuse me, um, to change the environment of your text of your of your scene you go to the current environment now by default it's based on the on a textured environment now this here is the power is this here is the on and off on your te texture so right now it's set on a float texture which is pretty much white so that's off that's on don't get don't get confused with on off with power this is power on and this is power right up. It's pre it pretty much bleaches out your image, but that's the power on how you want it. And rotation um, is the on the way the world rotates, but since there's nothing there, you can't rotate anything. So we're going to change the float texture to an RGB spectrum image and it's black. So let's change that to white. And again, it's the same. And you can change the power. You can also change it to, let's say, a red. So now it's a red based world. And you can also change it to many other colors out there. And yeah, so that is um, RGB based spectrum uh, world. And you can also do um, our Russian spectrum, which is very cool, but a bit more hard to control. And yeah, so now let's go through an HDRI image. An HDRI image is a photo taken, a 360 photo taken of an atmosphere. And in this am and in this uh, image, it has uh, the colors. It's mostly used you used for reflection passes. Um, I'm pretty sure they did a shitload of it on Iron Man to get the reflections off the. Uh, 3D model, and I have some HDRIs here. Uh, bear in mind, an HDRI should always be at least above 2K, but I think the ones I have are very low res. So yeah, let's change. You go to uh, the texture, change it to an image. Uh, locate your HDRIs, which should be in the folder, and go to Atmos. And uh, it, now it depends on which ones you want. Uh, the a blurred one, you can either have a clear one or a blur one. Um, you can try to choose. I hear people say the blurs are much more better, but we're gonna try. We're gonna try both. So let's just try the clear one. So if you just move quickly, move around your scene. That's the image. So you can scale that up, scale that down. Let's just scale that down. Uh, yeah, that's about about there. That's pretty good. And let's just change the rotation. You can change the rotation of the image too. Up and down, rotate and the power. So right now the sun in the image is around here and it changes the power on the brightest pixel. Well that's the way I think it works. Radiance can help can explain there. Alright, so now that you have the HDRI image it will now be it will be used as a the, your objects, your reflecting objects will pretty much be based upon that. So 
right now it's been that's been reflecting around there. See, it's been reflected. That's the glossy. Um, this will be a specular. And as you can see on that, it ha it has the images in that. Uh, let's change this to a diffuse red, which pretty much doesn't do anything, but has you have a you it gives you an idea. Let's change this to a specular. But this time, let's change the roughness. Transmission high index. Uh, about there, and let's change this to a glossy. Let's change it to a green. Let's have a mildish. That's full on, so that's about there. So it pretty much is acts like you're seeing. Let's change this. To, let's change the ground. That's pretty good. So it pretty much is reflects the world. So, um. If I was tracking, let's just give you a scenario. If I was tracking a scene, I have all my 3D movement data I put into my 3D program. I get the 3D program, I export it to Octane. I can then uh, set this as my world and turn it off in the uh, render kernel setting. So it deletes the world and it only keeps my and it keeps it on the materials, which is extremely handy. For people doing alpha passes. So that's the HDRI uh, pretty much the HDRI preset. Now you can also get a different uh, sorry for the errors. You can also get a different sort of um, environment and that is the Sun Sky preset. I think that all unbiased renderers should have a sun sky preset in them. So you go to you go here, texture environment, you click on texture environment and you go to daylight. So here it is and turn the power down. So this is a sun sky preset. You can in real time, let's just change this to diffuse. You can change the 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 way the sun works in real time. Look at that. You can change the way the day is, the month, and the north sets, and the hour. The turbulence is uh, how it's more of a how the uh, sun, how powerful the sun is. This is the overall brightness. So I, I don't think this changes the shadows. It only changes the surrounding. The power changes the overall power of it. And the north set, north set is, uh, I think it's like a the sun having a pure rotate instead of doing this. So it's rotating on the spot, like in the HDRI. So let's just test this out. It's um, the the date is, what's the date today? 22nd, the 7th, oh shit, it's already got this planned out. And it is currently 5, so 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 16, 16. G North. Uh, yeah, that's almost about it. Let's just put this in yeah, it's about sun. It's almost sunset now. So yeah, that's pretty accurate. So that's the Sun Sky preset. Now this is extremely helpful for people doing interior shots or exterior shots. Um, if you and it just it just makes the scene so much more better. And um, yeah. So that is pretty much the atmosphere tutorial. Remember, you have your sun sky, you have your textured based preview, you have your RGB spectrum based, um, and your HDRR based atmosphere. And this is the blurred version if you want to know.
which honestly really helps. Maybe it does. Just for the overall lighting of it. But, uh, yeah. I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And next time we'll be going through render kernels.